welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hello, friends of the podcast. Lisa? Samantha, that was directed at you. Shut the, the fuck not, up. Not the hello, <laughs> the finger. That no, that the friends of the podcast can't even see. I just gave her the finger because she's being a little bossy, bossy, bossy. I have to be bossy, bossy, bossy or else you fucking talk all the time. Listen, that's what I do, Samantha. I'm a talker. Oh, I'm a God, talker. Don't why is know that, it. Why is that news to you? It's all not news. Every now and then I'm Every amazed. Every once in a while, uh, Lisa, it doesn't hit right. It just right? doesn't hit right. Every now and then I'm amazed at when <laughs> you're surprised at something <laughs> like me struggling at six <laughs> seconds of silence. As if six seconds of silence. That's a hard oh, thing for me. I know. I right? know. I don't like silence. So like when that. you actually fall asleep, I'm pretty sure somewhere, somewhere it goes. Oh, thank God. I'm sure, right? I'm sure there's. <laughs> I I bet you if I could fall asleep in like a room full of the world, right? <laughs> Dear the world would be happy. Yes, right? they would. Dear the world would be happy. <laughs> So all those restless nights when I wake up at two because I got to oh. pee and then I can't go back to sleep till four and I just lie there going, oh, oh and then the world goes, oh, my God, she's up again. She's up again. And I just lie there and I try to just pretend I'm going, OK, I'm just going to sleep now. And then I'm not sleeping. And I'm yes. like, OK, OK, OK. okay. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah. That's fine. It's just sleep. It's just sleep. <laughs> Right. My dear friend, Mary Beth Martin, once told me nobody dies from not sleeping. No, but you're sure cranky. <laughs> but boy, you're going to wish you had died from not sleeping. Right. That's what's going to happen. Samantha, how are you doing? I'm <laughs> good. Good, good. Okay, this I got breaking news. This just in. OK, this just in. It was reported in last week's news. Uh -huh. That the seventy million dollar lottery that that uh, was won last Friday, uh -huh. it was won by somebody in Alberta, right? Uh -huh. And what did we do? Whatever. What? Whatever. Whatever. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> then today, big breaking news. It all changed. It all changed, Samantha. <laughs> Just like on a dime, boom, changed. All of a sudden. It wasn't won by somebody in Alberta. It was bought in Alberta by somebody living in Saskatchewan. Oh, my God. So in the last six months, are you ready for this? In the last six months, friends of the podcast, for those of you who may not be familiar with the province of Saskatchewan, if you're not from Canada, our American friends and our international friends, um, we have about maybe a million people in our little province. Maybe. We're, we're tiny. We are like. Like nowhere near the size of Toronto. We're nowhere near the size of like major cities, right? Uh, Vancouver. Nothing. Oh, way nowhere near like that, right? Nope. Let alone any place in the States. Nowhere. Okay. So maybe a million people on a good day. $200 million in winnings in Saskatchewan in the last six months. Oh my God. And Lisa and Sam have won one free ticket. <laughs> That's it. One free play. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Saskatchewan has gone from a have not province to a have province. There's a handful of have. There's a handful of haves. There's a handful of haves. And you and I did not become uh, any of them. No. Do we know any of them? Can we no. like hold out our hand and hope that there's money there? I don't think so. No? I don't think so. So no? we need a plan. We can't let this keep happening. That lottery is two times <sighs> a week and we need to tap into this. Well, I feel like if it's low, you should really like zing, right? You when go it goes high, because when it goes high, everybody buys a ticket when it's high. Don't I know it? Don't I know it? <laughs> yeah. Right? Gift shop lady selling them, <clears throat> right? Right. So I yeah. think you know when it's lower and it's not when it's only a paltry thirty mil. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Right, then you should you spend like, a little, invest spend a little, a little more. more. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Do we need like special numbers? Do people still do that? Do they yeah, still have some special people, numbers? Some people still have special numbers, right? <laughs> but then the problem is, is that if you're going to start the special numbers, you can't stop the special numbers. No. 
Because then what if? What if, right? Say all of a sudden, and I don't know, no offense to me, I'll remember to get my ticket. But you, sometimes I think you might forget. That seems like a lot to put on your plate. I don't know if I, right? <laughs> you, you can't even show up for breakfast on time. How do I know you're going to you buy the lottery ticket? You set me up ticket? for failure. I'm how, not having this conversation how, again. How We've do I know? already gone through the lesson. Mm-hmm. Check it out on TikTok. I'm just saying. <laughs> how do I know that you will buy that ticket? Because I'll make it a priority. Mm. 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 I don't feel confident. I think we. I think we just better stick with our quick picks, our separate quick picks. Uh, fine, whatever. Right, but we need to tap into that. That's a lot of dough kicking around. It is a lot of dough. It's a lot of dough, right? We could do some damage <laughs> with that shit. We could do damage. I think we could. Right. I think just we should. Saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so the idea is. It's spend high when it's low. Yeah. And when it's high, spend low. Yeah. What if that $200 million went, what if they doled out a little bit to everybody in the province? If those nice people oh. just all got together. That I don't would think make, they're going to do that. Well, wouldn't that be the nice thing to do? Let's just help out our nice province. That would be great. Right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, right? Something to think about. Something to think about. Uh, okay. I got some. Okay. Okay. So when you live in an apartment building, sometimes you hear stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's either sure. outside your window, it's inside, it's in the hallway maybe. If you're lucky, you don't hear them. Your yeah. neighbors on either side of you if you're lucky. Right. If you're really lucky. <laughs> if you're really lucky. But do you do you get up and go to the window and try to listen to what they're saying? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Yes, especially, I go to the door. I go to the yeah. door. <laughs> especially if they're arguing, right? If it's a good fight. Mm-hmm. Like, don't get, okay, you gotta, you gotta differentiate, right? Like, if it's noises like, like sexy time noises, I'm yeah. not paying any attention to that. No. I'm putting no. earplugs in. I'm turning up the volume. I don't want to listen to that. If it's a good fight going on, I'm all in. I'm all in if it's a good fight. Right? Remember when I had the meth heads living beside me? Yes. Right? I Oh, I heard that all. I was like, I'd stand at the door and like I had, I'd put a towel down on the ground so they couldn't see my shadow underneath the door. Oh, okay. I'd yeah. put a towel down and then I would like eavesdrop, right? Oh, yeah. It was all over that. What about you? Are you doing that? <laughs> well, no. We can't, well, I, I, I've heard two arguments now and I think it was in like... The building next door or the parking lot okay. of the building next door. And these people were arguing. Like a good fight, eh? Yeah. yeah. And like last weekend, I don't know if it was at the apartments or the townhouses that are next door. But yeah. someone was like, what do you think? I, you caught me cheating. And what oh. do you want me to say? And I'm like, what? For sure. I'm what? listening to that one. I would, I, you know what, if it was in my building, I'd even be recording it so I could send it to you in the HHG, a little snippet. Well, and then it was so horrible because I'm like, I can't see you. Should I get dressed, go outside and try to find out where you are? No, nope. you got to mind, you got to mind your own business that way. <laughs> that way you mind your own business, right? You don't get involved. Know, but, oh, I was just like, stop it. Wow. Stop hey? it. Yes. I'm a listener. You betcha. Uh, Mike, always, Mike always says that he's like, he's like, he thinks I'm sneaky, right? He's like, you're just all of a sudden like sly and like, there you are, just kind of hiding around the corner, right? <laughs> when we were kids and my parents would argue, we used to sit at the top of the steps and listen. Oh my God. Oh yeah. So, so I'm that girl for sure. For sure. 100%. <laughs> I want to know all about it. Oh I want to know God. all about it. How exciting. How exciting. <laughs> Right? How exciting. But here's something that has been just something new that kind of struck me. Okay. So you know how, how like we're women of a certain age and we get tired between like four and six and then seven and eight and, and, and eight and, and then ten and then ten. should go to bed. Okay. Right. <laughs> I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to leave anything out there. Okay. So what I noticed, you know how when you're like sitting, like I sit in a chair, I'm a chair girl, right? Or if like, because if God forbid I lay on that magic couch, I'm gone, right? So I feel if I'm sitting up, I still have some control over how much nodding off I do. But now I find my new thing is, you know how you nod off and your head dips? Usually, okay, right? So usually I have my phone in my hand because I'm usually like reading the news or something. Now I find that my phone dips too. 
<laughs> and I wake up because my phone has dipped, and that's what's that's what's waking me up from my nod. Is because I feel my I feel my phone dip, and I'm like, whoa! Protect your baby, protect your baby, protect your baby. <laughs> oh my god! And now I'm like, isn't that a problem that we never used to have, right? Uh, you know, I just. Uh... I'm always tired, so it's like a constant battle to, like, not nod off. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's so hard. It's so, so hard. I don't know. But like, I, I don't know if I've ever... Well, maybe. You never like, had the phone dip? No, I, maybe not the phone. Well, no, yes, I have. Like, let's be honest. I was probably watching something on my phone or reading something. Right, and then you nod. And, and all of like, a sudden you're like... Your head and goes then you down wake and up. your phone goes down at the same time, right? <laughs> Right. And your number one goal is to make sure your phone doesn't hit the floor. Right. Right. Like, don't let that baby hit the floor. Don't hurt your baby. Don't hurt your baby. Take care don't of your baby. Your baby. Don't hurt your baby. Don't hurt your baby. Take care don't. of your baby. <laughs> right. Okay. But speaking of taking care of business. Mm. The fake fan. The fake fan. This is all the Blue Jays needed. You think that this is it? I was forced. No I was told, yes. Was I forced told you're watching the Blue Jay? I don't know. Something happened and I actually watched an entire game of baseball. And did you love it? (laughs) No. 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 I was only half paying attention to it. But you but you were paying attention. But I paid attention to the first I'm gonna say full solid fifteen minutes. I'm gonna say Okay, I'll give you that. And they won. Yeah, and they won because they, they shouldn't won. have. They or, shouldn't have. Or it didn't look like they were going to. No, but they came back. And and they came back to win. They came back and I'm to like, win. I'm the lucky penny. I got them started. I actually, who know I do, ne- I never watch a game. No. Whether it's a starter game, closer game, oh, but I don't care. Doesn't even matter. I'm not watching. No, you don't watch. You support, but you don't watch. I support, yeah. but I watched it. So I was that person for them. So that means, that tells me going forward, <laughs> that when we call upon the fake fan, fake fan actually got to turn the TV on now. No. Oh, hell no. No. That was only for the opener. <laughs> oh, so that was just a one and done. It was a one and done. But they needed me at the opening. And if they need me at the closing, I will join them if they get that far. Okay. 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 Well, you know. Or if they're, if they're in a clincher situation, which right. I feel like right from the get-go when the guy hit the home run off the first ball pit. Yeah. Thrown. Like, enough. Trouble. It was trouble with a capital <laughs> T, right? Well, I'm happy to say the Jays are doing, are doing decent. Yes. We're everyone is decent. quite surprised. Every, right? We're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So it's a long season, 162 games. I know. It's a long, long season, Samantha. But you know what? We'll take your fake fanness wherever we can get it. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Right? <laughs> and the Jays, thank you, too. The Jays, thank you, too. Um, okay. So I got a problem. It's a big problem. It's a dilemma. You got a lot. You got to get specific. Oh. <laughs> It's there's only six more six more six more episodes. Of what? Of this is us. Oh, what are you and, gonna do? And then what do I do on Tuesday nights when I gotta cry? Well, gotta find something else. There's nothing else that makes me cry. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Well, how am I gonna replace my Tuesday night cry? Are you gonna have to start at the very beginning and watch the whole all the seasons? Oh, I don't know. I pride myself on having not had to do that. Remember? Yes, I know. Right, because I started watching it in like season four or season three. Remember, and then and just... HHG was like, "You can't do that." And now I can't even talk about it with her because she's like, "I'm not there yet. I don't want it to be spoiled." She hasn't watched the show in five years, and yet I can't tell her what's happening now. She's like, "Don't tell me about it in case I go back to it." You're not going to. She's not going to. Well, because they, because I watched briefly, and I must say briefly, one episode this pat this season, and it was um, the girl who's the twin of the boy. Oh, yeah. I can't remember her name. Yeah, and she's married to the guy, she's but he's traveling to Toby. a lot. Yeah. Toby. Toby, he's traveling a lot, and they have a boy who's blind. Is Jack. he is he's he blind? blind? Yeah. He's blind. Oh, okay. So, so. <laughs> The, it, it was interesting because they had a flash forward. Yes, they do a lot of flash forwards. To the kid. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. He's he's barbecuing though. Yeah. Yeah. But you he, said he was blind. But he's, he he sees he sees a little bit. But blind okay. people can barbecue, Samantha. Okay, I'm just right? saying. There's lots that they can <laughs> Hey, they get their stick and they're out walking in the world. Okay. Right? I'm just I didn't know that when I was watching it. Right. Anyways, it was a flash forward and apparently they don't stay together. They, that was this week's episode. Spoiler alert, this week's episode, <laughs> they divorce. Do they? They do. But they still, oh. their story doesn't end. They're, and that was their thing, is that their story doesn't end. They were meant to be this great. Fa- I can't do it. I can't. I'll start to cry. Do you want me to cry on the podcast? <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know what's going to replace it. I don't know what's going to replace it. I don't know. I don't, I know. don't know. I don't. There's I never been another show to- that does this to me. I think friends of the podcast help Lisa out, help her find that show that'll make her right. Because this show claimed I tuned in specifically because that's what it is. That's what that was. It's claim to fame, right? It will make you cry. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't believe it will. And it did. (laughs) And then every, and then it was like a cleansing. And then I felt a bit better, not like a big crazy cry, but like enough to like take your glasses off and (gasps) right. You know, fight it off a little bit. (laughs) Right. Not like an ugly cry, but just like a cry. Okay. Six more episodes. Then they're pulling the rug out from under me. Well, you could always, you know, find something on Netflix. I don't know. I don't know. Friends of the podcast, help me out. What, what show can I find that isn't super sappy (laughs) and super stupid? (laughs) That's just like, this is us. That's some good criteria, right? Not super sappy and not super, super, not super, not super stupid, stupid. That's what I'm looking for in my next show. (laughs) I don't think that's too much to ask for. No, that should be easy. Right. All right. It should be easy. All right. See what happens. Okay. So you know what I found easy, Lisa? Tell me. Uh, the McGriddle, the McGriddle oh. debacle, challenge debacle. I called it a challenge because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. You were just like, get one. And I'm like, fine. God damn it. Because how come? <laughs> oh, it's a conspiracy. <laughs> and Well, yours on Saturday. Actually, if I remember correctly, it actually looked like a pancake. It looked like a, yours didn't look like a pancake. No, because mine was actually looked like, like a bun. Looked and actually like a had the McDonald's yeah. insignia on top of it. Yeah. So I yours was an actual pancake. Mine was, okay, <laughs> we need, a, well, we're out of McGriddles. Let's slap together the hotcakes and sausage and throw an egg in it. <laughs> It's totally what mine was. Mine was totally hot cakes and sausage with an egg thrown in it. And somebody put a little bit of syrup on there. Totally. Because it was never the consistency of what a bun type of, ba- nope. of nope. what that should be. Yours stayed together like a bun would. Mine crumbled like a pancake would. I'm like, because it was a pancake. <laughs> Dear McDonald's, why are you serving me the McGriddle? Why are you serving me the the just just the hot the the pancakes? I don't know, but mine was the. Uh, it looked like it 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 looked like its picture, and yeah. I was like, oh well, that's a good sign, <laughs> right? Oh, and, and then I bit into it, and I'm like. Tastes like a pancake. Didn't just fall. <laughs> it didn't just become bleh, no. all it's, limp in your hand. And I ate the whole thing. So, like a true plus size woman should, I ate the whole thing, and it stayed together the whole time. The whole time. Every time you bit into it, it's st- every yeah. time I bit into mine, yeah. it just crumbled a little. It just disintegrated <laughs> a little bit more, and I'm like, what the hell is with oh, this thing? That's funny. Oh. So I, I don't know. was totally snowed. Is that West Side, East Side McDonald's? I don't is that know. The, is I that the, know. you know? The difference right the there. The difference. I think maybe the, maybe, because I, okay, so maybe my McDonald's didn't know that the McGriddle was back. Right? Maybe they didn't know it was back. And they're like, somebody, <laughs> hey, somebody's ordering a McGriddle. What the hell do we do? Oh, hang on. Let's just get the pancakes and put an egg in it. That's pretty. So was yours pancake, egg? cheese sausage i don't remember if there was cheese but i think so was there cheese i don't remember but there, if there was, was egg cheese. in it egg and sausage oh. yeah yeah 
And the pancake just kept falling down and falling apart. And I'm like, I cannot. I don't think they knew what they were doing. I'm like, I can't. This is not the McGriddle bun. It still has to have the consistency of a bun. You know, okay. What time on Saturday did you go? Like after I got my hair cut. So like by 10, by 10. 10. Was it the A team or the B team that you had? I don't know. It was a Saturday morning crew. Yeah, it's B. T- I think the B team because maybe the A team got the morning off. Maybe they were coming in for the Big Mac rush or something. Right. I don't know. It was just the craziest <laughs> thing. I'm just like, huh? <laughs> and I couldn't even finish it because I was just like, this is so nasty in my mouth. So nasty in my hand. It was just so nasty. No, mine was fine. I could tell yours looked fine. Yeah, it looked fine. Well, I said to you, it makes me want, yours made me want to try one again. But you I, should, because it was okay. But I'm scared I mean, to. It, it didn't taste horrible. So, as I said, it didn't taste horrible. But I wouldn't, it's too much. Like, it's it's yeah. a lot. So, to me, the issue is, is that when you, when you take, when you take the bottom part of the McGriddle, right? It's really, it's really not like a pancake. Mine was, yours wasn't. It was, no. it's still like a bun that just looks like, <laughs> that has like, looks like a pancake, right? But it, tastes like a pancake, syrupy tasting like a pancake. Yeah, but feels like a bun. But feels like a bun. And see, that seems like too much. <laughs> Mine, at some point, you're just eating sausage and egg in your hand. Yes, that's right? kind of what happened to you. Ah, it was so nasty. So no, Christine Sowiak, I did not like mess it up for the camera. It came like that. It came messed up. <laughs> I thought for sure. And I'm like, because I thought, oh my God, if it's an actual pancake, how will it stay together? And it didn't, it didn't come like huh. that. So. so I think mine was just, mine was the, uh, mine, mine were the actual pancakes. Yes. Right. That, oh, we got it. Somebody let's go. Oh, we got our pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's. Nobody's gonna know the difference until so you bite she's, into it. What is that saying? She's never gonna know. She's never gonna know. She 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 didn't know for sure, but she had a hunch. Because normally I wouldn't make I wouldn't make you have the McGriddle. No, but I'm like, you need to get a McGriddle. Yes, you were very right? forceful. I was every day this week. Did you have a McGriddle yet? No, no. Don't. Did you get the McGriddle? No. Don't forget the McGriddle. Last night before you went to bed, I texted you, enjoy your McGriddle. I know. Right? I know. It was that important to me. Yes. You know what else is that important to me? Um, I think we need to, well, you need to, I don't need to, because I'm pretty darn efficient Ugh. in this. I think you need to start practicing your board games. Like, we're soon going to be getting into, like, lake season. Uh-uh. And I don't want the same thing that you uh, do every year. I don't want to play a game because I'm going to lose. I don't want to hear nope, that from you again. No, <laughs> right? No. Right? Like, I don't want to hear no. that. Oh I don't want to hear. One I don't want to play a game. remembers it correctly. I don't want to play a game. And the other one ignores it. Right? Because together. every this is what you say. Every time we play a game, I lose. And that's not fun anymore. You, you, just, you just can't get over the fact that I won Skip Bo. You won some skip bow, but you didn't win the world Multiple championship. T- nope. Oh, shut up. oh my god. I'm I sick won. and tired of hearing that. Mm-mm. Sick and tired of Don't it. You and I was winning. We, yeah. I you, was winning Monopoly. You weren't winning Monopoly I ever. Was ever. Totally winning Monopoly. Ever were you Not winning? only did I have all the properties. Oh, but you were so quick to pack it up, weren't you? We had unexpected guests. I'm just saying, <laughs> Samantha. And then last summer, you wouldn't even play. Yes, I did. No, we didn't play a board game last summer. It was just cards. Oh, it was just cards. Just cards. It was and hot. Yahtzee. It was hot. It was so hot. So what? Board games you can't play in the heat? Yahtzee, you just cheat. How do, how do I cheat on dice? I can't. I don't make my own dice. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not good enough. Start I think practicing. that's the McIntyre luck coming uh-uh. out when no. you... Fucking throw the dice. I think it's that whole like, <laughs> All right? Take that, right? But I'm just saying. I think you need to start practicing, honing in on your board game skills. You practice. I don't need to practice. I win. Oh my god. I'm the board game champ. <sighs> okay, and, and I'm not surprised that you're saying this because you're the freaking euchre champion right? of the lake. Yeah. Right. I'm really good at those type of sports. 
It's not a sport. Well, whatever it is. It's something. It's competitive. It feels very it's a competitive. It's board game. Yeah. And wait till I buy the puzzle ketchup and it's just red and we're going to make it. No, I'm not yeah. ever doing that. Yeah, we're I'll going to. I'll strangle you first. <laughs> right? 1,000 pictures of red. 1,000 no. pieces of just red. No. It's just called ketchup. You will be doing that on your own. No, I'm gonna, we're going to have it on the big table and nope. we're going to just do it. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Just like that. Nope. Puzzle. We've nope. never done a puzzle. We've never conquered puzzles. I have never needed to do a puzzle. No. We're going to do puzzles. <laughs> no. Yep. We're going to try a puzzle. Nope. Catch up. I, I know that I and have board no games. patience because my mother pulled out a puzzle over Chris, like in that air, like in January yeah. to do to start. And we did it for an hour. And I just wanted to just because I was getting so frustrated because I because you're a control pieces. freak. That's why. <laughs> like I'm done because you're a control <laughs> freak, right? This. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Really? Right? Is, control year, freak? Yeah. Really? This year, you? I just need you to be a bit better with your board games. I need some competition. Great. I hope the HHG right? can make it out. Because right. board game <laughs> champ, I am. Oh, my right? God. Board game champ. That's what they're going to call me. Board game champ here. Yes. Yeah. Just like that. Where? Where would they call you that? <laughs> they they will. It'll just be called. Right? It will just be called. Someone's going to be walking down the back, the back street at the at the lake. Lisa, board game champ. Right? Word might be out. They might hear us, right? And they'll be like, hey, sounds like somebody's playing a board game. Who's the champ? I am board game champ. Oh, my God. That's how I think it will go. But sure. Okay. Can you just, can you work on that? I'll do my best. Okay. Well, you know what? If you lived in Manitoba or parts of southern Saskatchewan, you could start that this weekend. Yes, because you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, right? Mother Nature has lost her shit. Yes. And is giving that part of Canada or our province yeah. the worst storm apparently in ever. I like what? In ever. In ever. <laughs> not just not just the worst storm in a decade, in ever. Like didn't we we had a bad storm. Yeah. But how does Mother Nature determine that this is gonna be the worst storm in ever? In ever. In I don't ever. Know. In ever. Right? I, I think that's maybe a hopefully a, an over exaggeration. But then there's a part of me that wants it to live up to the hype. I want to see no. what this storm, what the worst storm in ever looks like. People can lose power in the storm of the century. I know. I want to see what that looks like. No, I do. Sorry, I don't. I'm, I want to hear about it. I want to read oh, about it. You're just that weird news freak. Ooh, what do they got? What do it's they a, got? It's what a good news got? story. It's a good news story, right? <laughs> Exactly. It's you know what, but but dear Mother uh, Nature, guess what? This was a this I sent Mother Nature a message this week. Uh huh. Right, because it's cold, right? She's made it cold. She's made it unseasonal, blustery, if you yeah. will. I refuse to wear mitts in April. Oh my God! I'm surprised you're still wearing a coat. Oh, not happy. Not happy to be in a coat, really. And this morning, Mike's like, oh, did you forget your mitts? Yeah, I le- I forgot them in March. <laughs> that's where mitts stay. Mitts stay in March. They don't They don't oh travel to April with us, mitts don't. No. Mitts don't travel to April. Okay, well, it's snowing right now. I know. And that's exciting. I know. I'm so done with snow. I'm done with walking in it, slipping in it. Brushing off my car. Yeah. Looking at it. Sn- shoveling it. Right. Just I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the cold. I'm tired of it all. It's mid-April. It is. And In it's two time weeks, to, it's, it's time to May be over. the 1st. I know. Dear Mother Nature, get this out of your system. Make this your worst <laughs> storm in ever. And move on. Get over it. Get over it already, right? It's time for summer. And don't you dare shorten uh, summer now that you've made oh winter go this late. Stop it. Um, okay. Well, there is apparently something you can do in summer that I feel deserves. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. What is it? Tell me. <laughs> I saw, I read something. It's something called sky camping. Okay. What is that? Huh? <laughs> the, the, I, I, ugh. You string 
a cable or rope or <laughs> yeah. whatever the hell it is from one mountainside to the other mountainside. Okay. And then you put what I thought maybe looked like a tarp or a blanket that's been hooked on to said rope right. or cable. And you get in it and you sleep in it. Like a hammock? Yes. In a mountain? Hovering. Mm. High up in the air. I think I'm good. I think I'm okay without that in my life. People were just casually hanging out. They were dangling their feet. Wow. And they were like, I'm like, are you insane? That's crazy. Why would you do that? What if you fell out? Because are you like, are you like, is it like a ride? No. So nobody's like clipping. So nobody's clipping you in. (laughs) I. It didn't look like they were clipped in. Maybe they were clipped on to the actual rope so that they actually Still. like oh, so then they'll out d- of said hammocky yeah, thing. And then, then they'll just dangle to death. Oh, God. <laughs> like, are you insane? First Not off, only would I never like camp do that. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't camp. Wouldn't camp. But um, high up in the air, so high that no. if you fell, you would die. No, right. That's the thing, right? Is I don't really want to be doing anything that I could die doing. (laughs) They made it be like, they were like, la la la. And I'm like, I would be so stressed out the whole time. You would not be much fun on that trip. I would not be fun. I'd be like, get me out of here. Get me off of this. Yeah. You would not do well. What the hell? Yeah. You, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? No. Why would people do that? I don't get that at all. Because they like adventure. I Fine. can find adventure I can on find the adventure. ground. Yeah. Two feet planted on the ground. Adventure. Yeah. Right? Do a corn maze. It seemed adventurous. <laughs> right? Right? There's other ways to have adventure. Oh, uh, I, oh, I'm I just feel. like, I saw that and I'm like, oh my God, I have to talk about that. Because I would, why would you do that? That's crazy. Why would you do that? That's just crazy, right? That's just crazy. <sighs> you know what? Um. Here's something I've been wondering a bit about. Do you remember like back in the 70s, the big popular gift to give people was like like a fruit basket? Yes. Okay. So I think that's making a comeback. Here's a fruit basket. There's a fruit basket. I think so. <laughs> I saw it in a like in, in one of the newspaper, like one of the flyers for like one of the grocery stores. Fruit baskets. But, oh. I don't know. I think Do it's I want, a lo- yeah. I don't want you picking my fruit. No, and I'm like it that's a lovely gesture. Right? However, just give me a check if you want to give me a gift. I'll take the cash. With the with the cost of fruit the way it is. Yeah. Are you getting the best pieces for and your And how expensive moony? is that? How expensive is that fruit basket now going to be? So maybe in the 70s, the fruit basket was 20 bucks. How uh-huh. expensive is said? I can't get a little prepared by others for 20 bucks, barely. No, I think right? it's probably 120 bucks. Yeah. And I don't want bananas. Uh-uh. I don't want melons. Uh-uh. I will take a couple of berries. I will take maybe some apples. A handful of grapes is fine. I, I would take some grapes. I would take some pears. Yeah. But, but you feed me fruit that I am never going to eat. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. And then I have such it has such a short lifetime, right? Right? Like how long does the fruit live for? And then it's oh my god, it's like flowers, right? Right? Save your money. <laughs> Save your money. Oh my god. Right? Like so, I don't know. I'm just like. I don't know. I don't think that the fruit basket is the way to go. I don't think it needs to make a comeback in 2022. Right. And it's like, then it's like, who picked your basket? Yeah. What type of basket? What, what, what kind of fruit picker are they? Are they a good fruit picker? Are they just like, it's a banana, but it's almost half dead. It's an apple. Yeah. Like you you get, do you get the end of the fruits? Right. I'm picky. I'm super picky. Well, you know, I think most people are picky about their fruits, right? And no, it's like, some people just eat weird. They eat a, a, they eat fruit and it's soft. It's like you're grossing me out right That's now. That's nasty. That's right? nasty. <clears throat> right? I say, I say, no way to the fruit basket. I, I say, save your money. Save your money. 
Save your money. Don't I'll show me the card. money. I'll take a gift card, right? Exactly. <laughs> We're in a gift card type of type of type of times now, right? I, I think Why we are we are. giving away food? Why are we giving away food from well, I mean it's a the thought that counts, Lisa. It's the thought. It is the thought. So right? whereabouts would you send said gift basket? Are you sending it just over to somebody's house? Like if the, somebody's passed away and that because that's what you used to do, right? In the seventies, somebody passed away and you sent a fruit basket. What's the joke? You could send a lovely fruit basket. You could send a what lovely is, fruit basket. You could send a lovely fruit basket. I think, um, yes, that would be one occasion. Right. Uh, you could do it if they got engaged. Perhaps like a lovely a, like, fruit woo-hoo, basket. Woohoo, here's a fruit your basket. Engagement. You're getting married? Like, oh, what man. purpose is, does the fruit <laughs> basket serve? Like where does like like I get I get you're at a funeral oh. and people want sandwiches send over a sandwich platter feeding yes. many okay I yes. get that right feeding many fruit basket not feeding many no right no no um a fruit basket would be lovely at um at uh what uh, an anniversary party I uh, would it be <laughs> you could get a you could give a fruit basket for someone who lost their virginity that would right. be oh lovely. here you go right so you had sex here's some grapes here's some, here's some grapes and you a give, wilted banana you could give a fruit basket for someone who just lost their job oh okay right because nothing <laughs> says sorry life sucks better than a fruit basket because right. that's the last thing, right? You're in a tough time, it really, and, and here's a fruit basket. Like a fruit basket has no purpose, right? Like send me like a donut. Send me a platter of donuts. <laughs> send me a cookie tray. Uh, yeah, I mean, because could you imagine like if someone just was getting a divorce or just got divorced or maybe broke up with their boyfriend, and you're like, here, have a fruit basket. Bitch, get me some donuts and get me some ice cream. Right, right. You on imagine it'd be great. You imagine like getting that knock on the door and it's like, oh, oh, we're here. yeah, we have a fruit basket for Mrs. Gibson. Why? Why? From who? How it just come? Seems, it just seems. I'm automatically so mad. Odd. I'm automatically mad at that fruit basket person. Right? <laughs> you send me a fruit basket. I'm already mad at you because I'm like, why are you doing this? Why'd you send me a fruit basket? Uh, it just seems weird right. to send. A, why would this be a big thing even in the 70s? Because it's still like there is no occasion in my brain right now. That calls that, for fruit. That calls for right. fruit. <laughs> what calls for fruit? A what mitzvah? calls for fruit? I don't Maybe. Know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right. What calls for fruit? I don't like, know. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems odd. It just seems odd. You're right. What call? And then with the fruit. Oh, look at that. And now we're going to also send you a side of uh, fruit flies that you're not going to know about till oh, tomorrow. Oh, God. Yes. Right. And then you get those little buggers, right? That's yeah, gross. Yeah. What, yeah what, what occasion is a fruit occasion? I don't think there is one. I don't think there is one. No. Mm-hmm. No. It's, no. No. Knock it off with the fruit basket. <laughs> right knock it off right? nothing says i love you like a fruit basket <laughs> nothing makes me madder than a fruit basket right <laughs> nothing ends nothing uh, nothing there, there's no excuse for a fruit basket samantha no no because then you'll second guess that person for the rest of your life do you remember when they sent the fruit basket yeah remember when she <laughs> thought that i would love grapes remember when remember when she thought oh she's going through a tough time i bet you grapes would help her with that you know, and, and then they, and that? then you and then you say to them, you, you gave me a fruit basket. Well, you said you liked grapes. Yeah, right. And I do. Right. I'll buy my own fruit. <laughs> it's not a gift giving a fruit basket's not a gift giving. OK, a season. It's not, it just it's, isn't. It's not a gift. It's not. No. So no. Dear friends of the podcast, if you're thinking about jumping on the fruit basket trend bandwagon, get off it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't get get off at the next stop. Don't continue. <laughs> Don't continue. All right. I got something else we got to talk about. Okay. Lisa. Samantha. Easter's coming up. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's already started. Even in my, my parents and I, we had a chat. Oh. Ham versus turkey debate. Oh, yes. I know, right? <laughs> right. In the Sperling household. <laughs> There is only one meat that right. you will eat at Easter, and it will be a ham. 
It will be a ham. It will be a ham. Mm. So huh. <laughs> it will never ever be a sausage. It will never be roast. <laughs> it will never be a turkey. It will never be a chicken. It will only It'll be a ham. It will always be a ham. So in the Gibson household, <laughs> I would say it will always be a ham. <laughs> Except this year, I noticed Uh-oh. it will always be a ham and a turkey. Oh, you're doing both. I see both in our fridge. <laughs> so I think we're undecided. Uh oh. Okay, I might have well, to get back to you on 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 well, on the debate. I'm sorry, but it was, and I'm going to, I don't, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. A member of the family said, I would like turkey. And my mother said, you're not invited. No, we're only (laughs) having ham. See, so where I get torn is because I love the turkey stuff the next day, right? Mm -hmm. That's where I get torn. I like all things, but for me, I'm with my my parents on this. It's turkey, Thanksgiving, Christmas, huh? Easter, ham. Easter you do ham. anything else in that? I'll see you later. You yeah, see you later. I see you later. I don't know. I mean, I agree. Traditionally, ham, absolutely. And uh, but Gibsons, we're mixing it up this year. We're doing one of each. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just a little ham. It looks that's like that's just but... a lot of food to cook. Okay. Oh hi! It's just like. Like the the frozen turkey, so I think I think I've I think I've mastered frozen turkeys. Oh, okay, there you I go. I think I have. I think I've I think I've mastered that sucker. And I don't know the type of ham that I think that we have is pretty straightforward ham. Oh, okay, it's well, not Sheila Sperling ham. Well, I'm looking forward to mashed potatoes and sour cream gravy that comes from the ham drippings. It's delightful. See, I don't and like mashed just potatoes with chowing ham. Down. I don't no, like mashed potatoes. I want a scallop. No, I'm I okay. Want a scallop. No, I'm okay. I'm good. No, no, no. That's where we differ, right there. <laughs> right, we draw the line right oh there. Oh my god! Right and now there. the mash, but po- the, the potato debate. It's the potato scalloped debate. or mashed? Scallop. It has to be scalloped. <laughs> Poor scallop. We've talked about this before. The scallop potato has no home. I know. And now I know you don't it want no it. Home. Now you don't want it at the, uh, well, at the it's only not home it knows. It's not something that we typically eat, anyways. Mm. I love when I was visiting my sister, we had we had like an early Easter. And uh-huh. maybe that's why I don't mind having turkey this year, because I feel I had Easter when I was oh, there. Oh, did you already have ham? Yeah, we had ham and <laughs> scalloped potatoes. And they were so good because they they were like my mom's recipes, right? Because, you know, oh, I, yeah. I don't know my mom's recipes. I don't claim to be a cook. Well, I do. Cl- uh, sorry, I do claim to be a cook, but I don't cook her <laughs> recipes. I cook my own recipes. Thank you. And but boy, they were good. They were good scalloped uh, potatoes. Well, that one's good. They were good. But we would never make them here because Mike would think they're too much work. They are. They are. It's they a lot are. of work. It's a lot of work. Those scalloped <laughs> potatoes are. But worth it. OK, well, guys, let us know. Ham mm. a turkey. Ham, Ham a turkey. turkey. Ham a turkey. All right, Facebook Tuesday, you guys let us know that peeps go away. Are peeps more American than Canadian? Uh, no, they're here too. They're here too? Okay. <laughs> but I think they are a very American thing. And they are. S- <laughs> and the comment that I made, because Luke was like, he's the only one that wanted to keep peeps. He, he was loving the peeps. Yes. And I said, yeah, monster. And he said, no, I'm not. I'm just an old curmudgeon. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I was just like, that is so much sugar. It's going to kill you. That is funny, right? It's, oh my God. But Sour Patch Kids or Sour Patch Tossed and your favorite, Lisa, the cream egg. The Cadbury cream, cream egg. Yeah. And that one hurt my heart, right? Because that's, I, See you later. I, I love that one. Only once a year, but, but I love it. But Stephanie Richenberg brought up a very good point. Oh. You left off the white chocolate bunny. I did, right? So next year, it's already in my head for next year. All right. right? Because I don't think of white chocolate that way. To be honest, I was surprised you put the cream egg on there because we all know that that's your favorite. Right, right. And that, that, I, and that was actually really good of me because I knew I was going to take a beating. <laughs> Well, because typically you keep stuff off. I try that you don't to. Want people to. I try talk. to, right? I try to. Like this summer when we do freezes again, I guarantee oh. you, Blue Freezy will not make it. You can't do that again. Lisa, Samantha, 
It's not like it goes away permanently. I'm just saying that I feel attacked. Okay. I feel attacked those days. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. But another great Facebook Tuesday, guys. Thank you so much. Lots of fun. And for those of you who replied to our Would You Rather Wednesday, thank you, thank you. Yes, that was a fun one too. Yes, I got you, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I'm like, I'm sad and mad. <laughs> Right? Way to go. <laughs> All right. So, guys, if you want to connect with us, go to Facebook. Uh, if you're listening to this right now, it's I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Join the group. Uh, we're fun. And we had a contest going that nobody has cared about. Oh, that's right. Right? We, we put up a cont- thing. We have a contest. <laughs> you know my theory. You know my thoughts on contests, right? Yes, you hate them. I hate them. However, our contest <laughs> is if you if you invite people to our Facebook page, we'll mm-hmm. send you a prize. Yes. Right? Somebody's going to win a prize. Yes. And yeah. nobody play. Play. Nobody, nobody played yet. Nobody played okay. yet. Okay. On Instagram, we are I Shake My Head. And if you guys have been paying attention today, I posted a reel and posted it on Facebook as well. So go check that out. Um, I typically don't. So. Be thankful I did. <laughs> right. She's, she was in it to win it. Yeah. Twitter is I underscore shake my head. TikTok, which Lisa has been dabbling quite nicely in. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> is I underscore shake my head as well. Um, and Patreon, guys, if you like us, you can help us out a little bit. For as little as $2 a month, you get an episode early, an extra episode every month, and there are no ads. So you can go to patreon.com slash I shake my head. You can also get some cool merch from I shake my head dot threadless.com. We have some good I shake my head swag. So go check it out. We are also part of the Podfix network. Listen to us there or at pod.link slash ISMH. Yes. Samantha, after last weekend, I have a revelation. <laughs> this ought to be good. I think I might be a sloth. <laughs> Lisa I think I might be a sloth I think I've already told you you were a sloth I feel I lived up to my <laughs> slothiness last weekend and did, did you, nothing did you lay low <laughs> I lay low I did nothing all I did was watch baseball oh, okay. that's all I did so basically I, your ass was planted in your chair and you didn't chair, move. I didn't move. I said to Mike, I said, I should really do some housework. He's like, who's coming over? Good point. <laughs> Good point, right? Good point. But then at some point you need to do your housework for you, right? Yes, you do. So we're not quite there yet, but but good point. I'm like, oh, aren't you a good guy? Right? Exactly. Nobody's coming over. Why does it matter? But I feel I, I that was my revelation on Sunday. I think I might be a sloth. So were you moving slowly? Oh, I was slow moving and not yeah. moving and <laughs> sleeping a lot, sleeping and <laughs> snacking. I was a snacking sloth. That's what I was. I was a snacky sloth. You were a snacky sloth. Snacky sloth. That's what I was. Totally <laughs> well, a snacky sloth. You know, you sound very similar to one of my nephews. So. <laughs> right? But it's funny, hey, because maybe that's where I'm headed is is to slothville. You might be. Right? I don't know. I think I did it really well. And Are you maybe, practicing? Maybe is this another week? We have a You have a four-day weekend oh, coming up. Are you going to practice? I, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> Let's just say we've already done our grocery shopping. We're all ready to not have to leave the house. Right? The sloth mode will be, I will be a sloth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This ought to be good. Interesting, hey? So interesting. <laughs> so earlier I was saying how I've been having trouble sleeping. I wake up. Yes. Right? You know what it is? It's my pillow is too small for me. I outgrew my pillow. How big is your pillow? Not that big, apparently. It feels like it doesn't fit my head. So I'm having bad pillow nights again. You don't have a big head. I don't know. I feel like my pillow <laughs> doesn't fit my head. Is it like a tiny little square or is it a standard size pillow? Standard size pillow. I feel like your head will fit. I feel like I feel like part of my head doesn't fit on it very good. 
I feel like you get very frustrated and then you're done. And then you make up every excuse in the book. Right? <laughs> right? I'm like, why doesn't my pillow fit my head? The hell? You, you blame your, your sleeplessness on your poor pillows. Those things have taken a beating over the last few years. They really have. They have. They really have. Right? So, They've but- assumed a lot of the... Re- but they've assumed a lot of responsibility. I feel like should rest on your slopey shoulders. No, they're to blame. They're to blame. <laughs> and all of a sudden, right? And then like the ridge of my head hurts because my pillow's not fitting right. The whole bit. Readjust. I do. I sit up. And then I got to lie there for two, wa- two hours wide awake because my pillow doesn't fit. Oh, my God. Until... The good Lord just has mercy on my soul and then finally lets me sleep for an hour before I got to get up to go to work. Right? Oh, that precious girl, hour. Girl can't function like that. Girl can't function on sleep from five to six alone. No, this is true. Right? She needs from two to five. She needs that time period. Right? That's like just a lot. That's too much. Do you ever wear your, your, uh, your watch to bed, your Fitbit to bed? No, I don't want to know how I perform. You don't. Because <laughs> you could find out, Lisa. I don't want to well know. Well, you sleep. I don't want to know how well I'm performing <laughs> at all, at all. Last night. So now that you're speaking of performing, that's funny. Last night, the HHG sent me a text. She's like, "Turn to the cho- shopping." It was ten thirty at night. Turn to the shopping channel now, so you know it means that there's adult stuff on, right? Uh oh. Right, because that's when our girl watches it. So I turn. Oh my God! They were talking about this apparatus that that uh, you can probably figure out what it looks like, and it uh, it was for pelvic refer- rejuvenation. Okay. Yeah, and I said to her, "My pelvis is out <laughs> of order. It's it it's done. It doesn't need to be rejuvenated. It's done. My pelvic wall is on strike." <laughs> It's over. I don't even know if I have one. Right? And they were selling like know. they oh were selling God. like crazy. I bet you. Right? And that apparatus looked like something that I don't want to know about. No. And I'm like, ouch. I'm good. I'm good. It just I know that was a little tangent, but it just reminded me when we was talked gonna, about performance. Was it gonna be a little bit like, I don't know, stimulating? <laughs> It looked like it could be stimulating and maybe a little bit, uh, I want to say that maybe, I don't know, I don't know enough about about the pelvic rejuvenation process because uh, we never had babies. So I don't know what, right? I don't think our pelvic, our pelvis didn't drop like if you had a baby. Is this to help with like incontin- incontinence? Well, you know? I think like, it's that, but let's call it what it is, right? It looks like it's a giant double-ended dildo. <gasps> Shut that's, up. That's what it looked like, but it Shut wasn't. Up! But that's exactly what it looked like, right? So I don't know. What the hell is Michelle watching? So it was on the shopping network, on the shopping <laughs> channel. Tune in any night after 10. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like, that's so crazy. So I'm sure she was just flipping around and was like, kind of like me, like, huh? Yeah, exactly. Right? So I don't know. Maybe it was for incontinence too. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. So friends of the podcast, <laughs> check out the shopping network late at night. <laughs> oh my God. Some okay. weird things. So Lisa. Samantha. You watched the special with the Kardashians. I did. I did. Are you going to watch the new Kardashian show? They may have hooked me in. What? They may have, because I think I really enjoy Kris Jenner. Yes, but is it all about Kris? I don't think so. It's about the young ones. I know. That's why I'm going to have to see. Right? Because I really do think I enjoy Kris Jenner. I think that she's very, very brilliant. Oh, yeah, for sure. They got lots right? of cash. Like she's, she's a smart, smart cookie, that lady. They have capitalized on a lot of stuff. Yeah, right? Which makes them really smart. Whether you like them or not, it doesn't matter, right? You have to you have to take a look at what they've accomplished. But apparently Kylie Jenner was the one that started She's like a bajillionaire. The big beauty stuff. Like yeah. because she did the lip gloss. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's like a bajillionaire. And it was her that got into the makeup stuff first. I always thought it was Kim for some reason. No, I don't think so. So I don't know. I'm probably going to watch a few. I'll probably check it out. All right. You know, and see, just because I I really enjoyed, I enjoyed that special. Did you enjoy that special? I only caught part of it. Yeah, I caught all of it, right? Because I'm a sucker for shit like that, right? (laughs) But it's on Hulu. Do you get Hulu? Yeah, we get Hulu. Oh, look at yeah. you being all that in a bag of chips. But I don't, well, we're not, we're not, we're no chips. We're no chips. I think we get Hulu. I could be wrong, but no, I think we do. Okay. I don't know. You I think should we check. Do. Yeah. But I'm going <laughs> to, uh, but I want to watch it. Okay. Yeah. Cause you know, it's gossipy, right? Like it's I, not I like, like gossip, right? Yeah. It's not all serious. I don't think they take themselves too seriously. No. Right. But if it might it's be only. Hey. Well, it might be entertaining if Pete is on there. Yeah, I love Pete. Right? <laughs> they love Pete. They say they love Pete. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess anything's better than Kanye, right? Well, right. like, he's a little. Thank you. He's Thank off you the went a little off, went a little off the rails, Samantha. Yes, he did. You know. Um. Okay, but I got good news. I know, and I'm sure you're thrilled. Oh, my God god right it's Are like you the thrilled? fairy tale that never ends oh and then she was explaining today on how he proposed <laughs> was it in a bathtub in a bathtub and he got yeah. down on one knee and i'd be like dude i'm bathing hi <laughs> it's private time out you get right yes yeah, so benifer is back together they're jen and ben and getting married right yeah you know <laughs> that's how you know that people have too big of bathrooms is when you can just like entertain like that in your bathroom right <laughs> right because it's like why are you in here there's not room for two <laughs> right that's so cute yeah so that's um, good i'm really happy for her yeah me too <laughs> Apparently, A Rod found out on air while he was doing some show. Yeah, I'm like, whatever, dude. whatever, get over it. He's cheated, so whatever. Exactly right. You know what? If they're happy, then that's good. They seem to be happy. They seem to be happy. It's all that they matters. Bought, they bought a seventy million dollar mansion together. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, that's commitment on that's some, some level. Commitment. That's a commitment. <laughs> you know what, though. Um, this isn't, I have some unhappy news. All right. Are you ready for this? Okay. Kit Kat has a new flavor. Uh-huh. And it's called the Blueberry Muffin. What's bad about that? Why can't muffins just stay muffins? It's just a flavor. Why do we have to change the Kit Kat flavor? Who decided who decided that Kit Kat was such a horrible original flavor? Let's make it blueberry muffin. Don't they have like white chocolate Kit Kat? They have every type of Kit Kat and they're all just horribly wrong. <laughs> right? Because the thing is is don't mess with perfection, right? So all of a sudden, Kit Kat was fine just being one flavor. And everybody knows artificial blueberry is not good. That's not a good flavor. Okay. Right? So why do you have to wreck everything? Why can't we just be happy with the original? Because, Lisa, <laughs> the times, they are changing. I don't like the change in times. I know. Right? I don't, don't like, like any change. I don't like change. I don't like change at all. I think that the Kit Kats, they were fine just being chocolate. Okay, when's the last time you had a Kit Kat? Well, it's been a long time. Uh-huh. So but I how, would be less likely. How deeply ingrained is your love of Kit Kat if you haven't had it for a while. Well, but guess what? This making it a blueberry flavored one does not entice me to think about trying it. It just now makes me mad at Kit Kat. So now if I, I was go- now if I was going to try said Kit Kat, I'm not going to now because now I'm upset with them. It's like with the Oreo, right? <laughs> why? 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 So um, are you going to write Kit Kat? I, maybe I will. Are you going to protest? Maybe I'm going to tweet. And say, well, oh. why would you Why would you do this? Why would you make a blueberry <laughs> muffin Kit Kat? Please send out a strongly worded 140 for Kit Kat. Right? 140 for Kit Kat. It's 280 now, Samantha. Oh, sorry. Right? It's 280. <laughs> it's okay. You're not, the t- you're not the Twitter girl. I am. I'm sorry. That's right? Strong. I, can, strong. I can just see you. I can just see you. 
Oh yeah, right. Oh, I'll just get my thumbs. I'll just be going, right? Right, dear Kit Kat. Right? Why do you do this? Why are you wrecking? Why? Nobody wants right. artificial blueberry. Nothing. All right. Right? They want a blueberry muffin, not a blueberry uh-huh. muffin Kit Kat. No. Right? Nobody wants that. Darn it. Oh, don't get me started. Dang it. Don't get me started. All right. All right. Lisa. What? Do you send greeting cards still? I do. Do you think people buy them and send them? I think people still do, but I don't know if it's top as mind as what it used to be. Have we gone back to the old fashioned ways of communicating to people? No, I think now what happens is I think that some people buy cards uh-huh. and I think other people send a text. Uh, right? Uh-huh. But then there's no keepsake. True. Right? Some people like to have a keepsake of of that occasion. Yes. Right? Like you don't buy I cards. Suppose. Do you buy cards? Not often. I buy Christmas cards. Yeah, right? You're not buying like you might buy the odd birthday card. Yeah. But you're not just like but only if you have to. Yes. Only if you're going to see that person. Yes. yes. If you're not going to see that person, <laughs> you're going to send a birthday tweet. Or not a tweet. You're going to send a text, a birthday text, right? <laughs> I know you, Samantha. Yes. I know you. Yeah. And not everybody's getting a Christmas card. You only, That's the category of people. You either do it or you only do it because I'm going to see you. <laughs> that's the difference right there. I'm totally okay with that. Right? I do it to do it. You do it because you're going to see somebody. You send out a Christmas letter as if people care. (laughs) Listen, it's a tradition. (laughs) Right? You don't make my list, so I don't care what you think. I I see you every day. You know know. what's going on. I know what's going on. I don't need a letter. You know what's going on. You don't need a letter. I can send, I can add you to the list if you want. Save a tree. (laughs) Right? I can put you on there. I can add, I can get my pen and paper out and write you a little letter too, Samantha. Please don't. (laughs) But I figure, right, I probably see you enough. Yeah. Right? To fill in the blanks. I think that's okay. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, Lisa, is it time to ask me a million questions I can't possibly answer? It is. It's time. Okay. Guess who's got questions? Lisa's got questions. It's Lisa's Question Corner. All right, Samantha, I got three questions for you this week. All right. I don't think you're going to be able to answer any of them. But maybe somebody will. Okay. Question number one. What makes wintergreen lifesavers... So winter greeny. Uh, peppermint. They're not peppermint. Mint. Winter green. I don't know what is winter green. Oh I don't know. God. That's what I'm saying. What know. makes them so winter greeny? Peppermint, mint. Is it a combination of peppermint and mint? I don't think there's any peppermint in it. There's a mint of some sort. There but is, is winter mint. green a mint? What is that? What is it? I don't. I don't know. It's delightful. <laughs> they taste good and they smell like A535. <laughs> right? <laughs> just saying. Just saying. I don't know. Maybe they're just magical. I don't know, right? I so I because I was eating one the other day and I'm like, wonder what makes this mint so winter greeny. Oh my god. Yeah. And now you're I, eating lifesavers? Every now and then I get a dry mouth, so I like to like have a lifesaver. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. The winter green ones, but they're very winter greeny. Okay. Well, I don't, I'm sorry. Okay. If someone can please answer this for us, that would be fabulous. Okay. Ready? Question number two. Why is okay. it a, why is it a bull called a cowboy? <laughs> get it? Cow boy. Boy. Get it? Get That's it? sad. Right? That's so sad. It, but why is it? You think it? you're funny. Like <laughs> you're just will- you're almost ready to like laugh hysterically. I am. I am actually <laughs> inside I am actually laughing a lot. You, you're right. like you're keeping it in cuz you're like I'm going to be I'm going to look silly. <laughs> right? Right? But why isn't a bull called a cowboy? Because it's a bull cuz it's a bull. But it's a boy cow. But it's okay. <laughs> 
I don't know. I'm just saying, wouldn't that make it easier? But why do we call them cowboys now that we now that I'm thinking about it? That seems weird. Why? Well, why do you why do you why do we even have that phrase? How do we get that? That How did we seems get weird that, in itself. Right? It's just a person riding a cow. Why is Is it because they herd cows that we call them a cowboy? I don't know. But they could herd a million different things. Right? People have herd sheep. Are they sheep boys? No. They're just like sheep herders. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a question. Another uh, that's a fourth question, apparently. Uh uh. Okay, question number three. Why okay. why are decaf coffee pots orange? So that you don't mistake them for the regular. But why orange? Why'd they pick orange? Handles because are always orange. Because I, I don't know. I was just curious about that. I have no clue. Okay, friends of the podcast, can somebody help us out? I'm just <laughs> because wondering. they're bright and you can't miss it? Maybe. It could be. Could be. <laughs> but I feel because you don't sound very certain, we need to back I, up on that. You, ugh. I'm just saying. These are my questions. Fine. Whatever. They're the questions I had this week. All right. Thank you. All right. Moving right along to quote you. Moving right along. Okay. (laughs) I saw a video (sighs) and it was, you know, my love of Elvis. Yes. Okay. And it was return to sender. That one. Address unknown. That one. Oh, he was so lovely. Yes. Like, that's all I have to say is he really was so he, his, his loveliness stands up today. It's so, I still think this is the weirdest thing that that you have, that you have a thing for Elvis. I think I get it from my mom. I think because when we were kids, we used to always watch Elvis movies with her. True. Right. So I think, I think. I think I think that's where it comes uh, from. I somewhere. love Elvis, like young Elvis. Yes. Right. Not like I ate too many peanut butter and jam, peanut butter and uh, banana sandwich Elvis. Not that Elvis. Old older seventies Elvis, not good. Not so good. Nobody and no. no no older seventies anybody, not so good. <laughs> no. Right. Let alone Elvis, but Elvis really took it to the next level. Uh, he did. Right? <laughs> but younger Elvis, he still stands true today. He does. He right? does. Oh, yeah. he's he's is he is lovely. Like he is beautiful. Okay, but who doesn't just love the the leather clad Elvis? Yeah, like right. Like that's like like Elvis in like Honolulu or something or Aloha Elvis or something. I don't know. It's good right? stuff though. Or like that's like the Jailhouse Rock Elvis. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Jailhouse Rock Elvis. Right, Jailhouse Rock Elvis. I don't know. I'm just saying, right? I just saw the video, return, and that's my favorite song, Return to Sunda. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> my heart went pitter patter. So Soul Girl's heart went pitter patter. I have a favorite Elvis song. I have a lot, and I love In the Ghetto, too. Oh, my right? God. Okay. But that's very soul. Yes, it's very right? soul. It's very gospel, right? <laughs> return to Sender is just kind of like, address unknown. Very poppy. Very poppy, right? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's just a, it's just, it's just a good song. It's one of its good ones, uh, right? Yes. Right. I'll okay. send my letter, but my All letter right. keeps coming back. Okay. Right? It's a good one. I'm just saying, I love a little Elvis. Okay. We okay. know. We got right. it. Okay. Loud and clear. All right. Well, you know what? Hi. <laughs> You can just shut up. <laughs> right? Don't pick apart Elvis. It's Elvis. I'm not. You kind of are. You kind of are a little bit. I'm not. Mm, this feels I'm not like you might apart be. Elvis. I'm picking apart you. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. But we, a little bit of sad news. Gilbert yes. Godfrey passed away the other okay. day. He was 67. Oh, that was sad. I didn't realize he had been sick. No, neither did I. Right? <gasps> Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was sad. But funny thing, I was scrolling through Facebook and unbeknownst to, I'm sure, a few people, but Ron Oliver, who we know. Yes, we do. The famous director of many, many movies. Yes. Hallmark being some of them. Yeah, but many others too. <laughs> yes. Directed Gilbert Godfrey in a TV show called Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yes. It was the episode, The Tale of Station One One Zero Nine Point One. Yeah, yeah. And that was really cool. 
I think and Ron. Like, I think Ron. Ron's been posting a few pictures and stuff of 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 his time with Gilbert Godfrey. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, that's like six degrees of six separation, degrees, right? And now every time you hear Affleck, you'll always think of Gilbert Godfrey, right? Yes. Right, because that he was, and he was the burden Aladdin too. That's right. That's right. He was a funny um, guy. He was a funny he was, guy. And that, yeah, had, that's young. That's young. Yes. He had saucy humor. He did have saucy humor, right? Yes. And saucy they, humor. they posted a picture and there was, it was a picture of him, Bob Saget, mm-hmm. Norm MacDonald, and who was the other guy? Louis Anderson? Is that the other yep. guy? And yep. it's like, God, all four of those guys died like in the last year, right? Yep. Like, holy heaven is like the improv. Yeah, they're having a good time. They're having a good time right now. They're having a good time. Yeah. Okay, but speak. How do people own this kind of stuff? Mark Wahlberg is selling his eighty-five million dollar house. Who needs that? Who needs to have an eighty-five million dollar house? Even Benefer, why yes. do you need a seventy million dollar house? Like, what does it come? With? Like, what does they, that come with? They said Mark Wah- Wahlberg's house came with, like, like a pool and, like, a five-par a five par golf course. Like, all this different shit, right? Or five-hole golf course. Does it come already with, like, a butler? I don't know. Does it, does it come already with, like, $25 million in the bank? Well, I hope so, because right? $85 million, you've got to have a lot of cash. Like, how do you even pay for, like, the hydro in an $85 million home? <laughs> right? It's got to be astronomical. Like, like, what's the water bill there? <laughs> right? Like, dear Oprah, what do your utilities cost? <laughs> right? I'm just curious, right? How many gardeners do you have? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like the new Ina Gardner show, right? And she had oh. Ina Gardner be my guest. And they show her beautiful country home and her beautifully manicured estate that, that you can tell many gardeners must keep up with. And uh-huh. it's like, how much money must, like those people get paid. That's a full time. Those are full time positions. Oh, for, for people, sure. Right? For sure. But do, do we need an $85 million home? Because I think I read it's only still like seven bedrooms. Like for $85 what? million dollar home, it should better have like 125 rooms. Does it have a guest house at least? I don't know if it has that. For that much money, you better have a lot of stuff. Like it better have, like I don't want just like a seven bedroom home for $85 million. I want like. like is it? Is it in the hills? Is it like it's in a fancy hilt? part of it's in a part, fancy part of of California? Oh, right. But what like know. like how like how much different does Mark Wahlberg's kitchen need to be than Samantha Sperling's kitchen? Well, a lot different, apparently. But not really, right? Like you need a stove. <laughs> you like a dishwasher. You need a coffee maker. You need a microwave. Yeah. <laughs> And you like an island. And a fridge. And a fridge. <laughs> what more? Like, what more other things must he need to rack up his big, beautiful kitchen? Well, apparently a lot. Right? Like, I don't, like, I think that's where I don't understand. So, even if you're going to have a bedroom. So, they're one bedroom. Like, how big is that one bedroom? Like, it must be massive. Like, it can't be the size I of my know. bedroom. I would. Th- I would not think. You know? Oh, I would think yours is like, like the nothing. bathroom size. <laughs> no, probably too small for that bathroom. too, right? Like it's just I don't know. Like it's so crazy. Like is it because the more money you have, the more you need to like you need to show? Because I can't imagine ever needing. Let's just say we win the lottery, right? We win seventy million dollars. Are Woo-hoo. you buying a fifty million dollar home? No. No. Never. No, I'm going to still be cheap at 70 million. I know it. <laughs> Not on everything, but on some things I'll be like, mm, I don't think yeah. we need that. I think we're OK no. still here. Yeah. Right. It's been good for 20 years. I'm OK. Right? Are you going to still live where you are then? I don't Lisa? know. Like we might move up a little million. bit. <laughs> I might move up a little bit, but I don't want something that I got. That's going to cost me, take me more time to clean. Yes. Right. Like I don't want to have to have more rooms to clean now. Well, you could get a, a cleaning service. You could, you could, but I don't know. Seems like an expense I don't want to pay for. 
There you go. Right? I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Here's something. Tell me if this is a yay or a nay. DiGiorno pizza, okay? Uh-huh. So the, the frozen DiGiorno pizza. They're making a breakfast croissant pizza. They got two new flavors. One cinnamon roll pizza and the other is an eggs Benny pizza. Yay or nay? It's a croissant pizza. Mm-hmm. I would be willing to try the cinnamon roll. Okay. Eggs Benny, I'd have to see it. I, I don't think, know if I trust that. I think I need my breakfast just not served on a pizza. But it's not really a pizza. It's a croissant. But it looks like a pizza. So it doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. I think it matters. It's not going to taste like a pizza. I know, but I think I don't want to eat. I think my breakfast can't come rounded on a pizza. Can't, oh it can't come oh round. Now you have the you have something wrong with shapes of things. I think because uh, it's not I I don't see a pizza transitioning to a breakfast. So if this was a a pancake pizza, would you would you then decide it was a good idea? Samantha, that's not even funny right now, right? I'm a little upset with pancakes. Thank you. <laughs> the McGriddle has taken the one thing that I love so much and made it. So sour in my mouth well you got the bra end of that deal yeah <laughs> mine was actually not bad right and everyone oh, it's my favorite everybody it's my favorite i love it try the one with the chicken oh i you know what they suggested that and i was like oddly enough eating chicken at in the morning doesn't appeal to me but yet let's have an egg so <laughs> it seems different <laughs> Seems odd. We just don't want the meaty part of the of the chicken. Apparently. Right? I don't want it to grow up and then get killed and wind up on a bun. No. Right? <laughs> before before noon. Right. Right? No. No. So I don't know. I'm I'm uh, saying no to the DiGiorno breakfast pizza. And I'm saying I gotta see it. Okay. All right. Well that's where we differ again. 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 <laughs> All right, my turn now. (laughs) Lisa, it's things you ought to know. All right, Lisa, fun facts about Easter. All right, hit me with your best shot. Oh, I don't know. Some (laughs) of this stuff's going to freak you out. Okay, I'm ready for (laughs) you. More than 1.5 million Cadbury cream eggs are produced every day. Every day? Every day. How exciting is that? That'd be the best job. How much do you and your sister contribute to the eating of them? (laughs) Oh, my kid sister loves a good cream egg, too. (laughs) Um, The world's largest Easter egg weighs in at 5,000 pounds. And it's in Vagerville, Alberta, here in Canada. Right. That's right. I have been in. I have seen it. I I have have taken a picture beside it. Lucky you. It is a Ukrainian Easter egg. As I'm sure every prairie kid has. Probably. (laughs) Right? So funny. Right? That in the big teapot. Isn't there a big teapot somewhere? That's in Davidson. (laughs) Okay. Well, did you get the picture there too? No. Too close to home. I don't. It didn't seem special. Oh. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Yet a crazy ass egg. It's special. <laughs> well, it was turning at the time, so it seemed oh, interesting. Gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. So the holiday, the Easter holiday, was named after the Anglo Saxon god Estery. It was depicted as a fertility goddess oh. and a goddess of dawn and light, which honors pagan festivals that's where the bunny comes in because those bunnies are fertile yes yes so this goddess was honored at the pagan festival so guys easter's a pagan ritual it's a pagan ritual omg oh hi don't don't tell yeah that's what you read that's what what i read that's what i read from this is that they've mixed anglo pagan and Here's the shovel, together. Samantha. Here's your shovel. <laughs> Don't just, at me. It's what I read. Just keep on digging, right? You <laughs> it's didn't what make I read. That. You, you didn't come up with that. I did not come Thank up you. with that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Easter bunny legend began in Germany, and it's a symbol of pagan, the pagan goddess of spring and fertility. It's a lot about fertility in spring. It's a lot about fertility in spring. A lot about spring. fertility. Interesting. The act of painting eggs originates from a Ukraine tradition, a call out to the goddess of health and fertility. 
<laughs> what is with- what is with that right it's a lot of fertility all in one spot that's a lot of fertility that's too much yeah. fertility for me might be a little bit too much yeah too much too much too much <laughs> Good in- good right. information, Samantha. Oh, well, you know, I try. Um, Lisa, what's make you sh- making you shake your head this week? Samantha, this week I'm shaking my head at the size of labels. Oh. I don't think, I don't think I should have to take a label, look at a label, take a screenshot of it so I can <laughs> blow it up on my phone so I can read it. Right? Because that's what I do. As I go through every Sunday and clear out my pictures, I'm like, label, 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 instructions, label, label. Right? Why? 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 Why are they so little? I think that if we were younger, this wouldn't bother us. Oh. But as we get older and have to get glasses and just all it does is it lends to my theory that I think I didn't do good on my eye exam. <laughs> right? Because now I can't read the labels again. Well, this is true. Oh, good God. <laughs> That's what I'm shaking my head at. One should not say I didn't have like say I didn't have a phone. I'd have to have a magnifying glass with me. <laughs> Right? That's where I'd be at. That's where I'd be oh, at. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. What that's about funny. you? What are you shaking your head at this week? I'm shaking my head at me. I can't cope. I'm not coping with snow. Oh. I'm not coping with no sun. I can handle the cold, but I would just like to see the sun. I like to see the sun. I like to see the sun. Because if you see the sun, it's not snowing. Yes, exactly. Right? Yes. And, and I'm done. I'm You're over done. this. I'm not coping. I'm shaking my head at me. Everyone else around me seems to be coping. I'm not coping. I don't know if they really are coping. (laughs) I don't really know if they are. I'm not coping. (laughs) That's fine. You don't need to cope, right? You just don't need to cope. When I had to like take the snow off my car the other day and I'm like, I'm over this. Right? I'm over. (laughs) I'm done. I'm done. (laughs) So that's why I shake my head. Fair enough. Good one. Fair enough. All right, guys, we want your feedback on what we talk about. So send your comments to ismhead at gmail.com and you might find it being mentioned during our episode. So you can send us, and I shake my head, you can send us comment, comments on some of the stuff we talk about. You can send us things that maybe you want us to talk about on the show. It's up to you. Open forum. There you go. And we would like to say thank you to John. <laughs> he is the best kept secret in podcasting. <laughs> Stop shaking your head. <laughs> I shake my head at that phrase. I'm not saying he's not great. I'm just shaking my head at the phrase. I can't help it. I can't help it. He really is pretty great at what he does, though, right? Yeah, you know, he he is. He is. He absolutely is. Um, yes. You know, and he come up with a catchphrase like nobody else, like, like nobody, nobody else. else's business. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Samantha, that brings us to the end of our show. Yes, it is. Wow. Hey, so quick. So quick. So so quick. (laughs) So quick. Time just flies when you're having fun. (laughs) Samantha, anything else this week you'd like to add? No, I'm uh, I'm good. All right. Friends of the podcast, like we said, watch us on the TikTok. Watch us on everything. Invite your friends. There is a contest, an active contest on. (laughs) Maybe you nope. need to bring it back to life, Lisa. People DFC'd it last week. <laughs> they DFC'd it. They didn't fucking care. Right? Uh, All right, Samantha. Always right. a pleasure. Eh, should be. Hmm. This has been a transmission of the Podfix Network. For more about this show and other great Podfix programs, go to podfixnetwork.com.